So as you're taking a walk through a beautiful forest like this, we're often looking at the trees, we're listening to the birds, but if you thought about what's happening under your feet, as you look at a forest, you'll often see mushrooms growing, the little mushroom heads. Those mushroom heads are literally like the fruit of an apple tree. They're the apple. The majority of the body and the life of a mushroom is happening under the ground. There are millions of little fibrous roots heading in every direction, intertwining in and around the tree roots called microcilium. Now, those are the, the body of the mushrooms, and it's the stems it sends up are like the fruit or the apples hanging from a tree. But the amazing thing is the interconnection that we have even recently discovered between the trees themselves and those massive amounts of fungal roots that are happening and intertwining with the tree roots. The University of Reading in England recently did a study between huge spruce trees and the, the fungus that was intertwined with the roots of those trees. What they discovered was that the very large older trees had a network of roots that are intertwined with these fungal roots. And often in a large canopy forest, there'd be young spruce trees located 10, 20, 50 feet or more from the main trees that were often struggling to survive and get nutrients and sunlight and not growing very well. This would send a signal to the larger, more mature trees through the fungal roots. Those trees would then send nutrients through the fungus to the other trees who would then draw those nutrients in order to survive amongst themselves. Now, why would there be this connection? Because about 20% of the nutrients and sugars from the tree would be used by the fungus who would then pass along the rest of the nutrients to the other trees. It's an incredible symbiotic, mutually beneficial partnership between fungus and trees. Without this mutually beneficial relationship, the young trees would not survive and not grow and not thrive. Without the nutrients, the fungus would not grow and thrive. They both needed each other. Now, only God could do that. Evolution, random changes could not get two independent organisms to both develop a network of the dependence upon one another. Who would have ever thought so much would be going on under our feet as we walk through a peaceful forest? And it all points to a magnificent creator who created it all, Jesus Christ, the creator. Thank you.